Good day, beloved of Christ. Welcome to prayer on Friday, the 24th of February. We begin with our introductory responses for the season of Lent. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and the Lord will sustain you. Together, and the Lord will sustain you. Create in me a new heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Together, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Together, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Together, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Blessed be the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens. Together, the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. Psalm 31 today, verses 1 through 16. The Lord, our refuge and hiding place. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. And I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. For you have seen my affliction. You know my distress. You have not shut me up to the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a corpse out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot, for I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and in your loving kindness save me. Let us pray. Helper of the helpless, comfort of the afflicted, May your servants who stand in the midst of evil find strength in the knowledge of your presence and praise you for the wonders of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We are reading now Titus chapter 2, verses 1 through 15. This is Paul's exhortation to Titus to teach sound doctrine. So this is clearly a letter to the young preacher, to the young pastor. I'd like you to consider hearing Paul's advice as someone who will then be underneath Titus's preaching. So this is to Titus, so it's not directly to you or me in some manner of speaking, but it is to the preachers. So how would you hear this if Titus was your preacher and the advice that Paul is giving to Titus? But as for you, teach what is consistent with sound doctrine. Here's a little parenthetical note, I'll quit. So I think as someone who would be sitting under Titus's preaching, you'd be thinking, yes, that's what we want, someone who's preaching consistently sound doctrine. I'll start over again. But as for you, Titus, teach what is consistent with sound doctrine. Tell the older men to be temperate, serious, prudent, and sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. Likewise, tell the older women to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good, 
so that they may encourage the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be self-controlled, chaste, good managers of the household, kind, being submissive to their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled. Show yourself in all respects a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, seriousness, and sound speech that cannot be censured. Then any opponent will be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us. Tell slaves to be submissive to their masters and to give satisfaction in every respect. They are not to answer back, not to pilfer, but to show complete and perfect fidelity, so that in everything they may be an ornament to the doctrine of God our Savior. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things, exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one look down on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Paul's concern here in offering counsel to Titus is to avoid any scandal that would hinder the work of the gospel. Paul's really saying here, keep things quiet, Titus, so that the work of God can prosper. Yet exhort your people to live exemplary lives so as, again, not to discredit the gospel. In this early stage of the proclamation of the gospel, we have no sense of the transformative edge of the gospel bringing about dramatic social change. Paul is pretty well here. Keep the status quo. Jesus is coming back soon. Just don't cause a controversy and discredit the work. The socially transformative edge of the gospel would become apparent later in history. In this case, slavery is just assumed as part of the normal fabric of society. Of course, this is not right, yet we acknowledge that it takes time for the flowering of the gospel to bring about substantial social change. May we together be agents of positive change in the world and in our own life spheres. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, Guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Be with all Anglican churches at the time of their vestry meetings. May we together discern the way of your Spirit in and through our ministries. Lord, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, we pray for those who need your healing touch today. We pray for Joan, Laura, Rose, Richard, Ricardo, Karen, Yashuhiko, Joanne, David, Michael, Lorna, Derek, Sonia, Shirley. You may pause the recording to lay up before the Lord those who are on your heart. Lord, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear, despair, and struggles with mental health. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayers, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make her face to shine upon you and be gracious towards you. The Lord lift up their countenance upon you and grant you peace this day and forevermore. Amen, amen. Have a blessed day today, Friday, TGIF.